If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. What's up guys, it's Jayco, and yesterday we got some very exciting news from Rockstar themselves yesterday on the Newswire, explaining a bunch of things that we will be getting for GTA Online's summer update coming up in the next week and a half, couple weeks or so. July 19th is our speculated date, and I'm, I'm pretty confident that it'll come out July 19th. Makes a lot of sense that it would. Yesterday's Newswire post was quite long, and there are some things that I would like to touch on and explain what we should be expecting for GTA Online's update coming this summer in the next couple weeks, like I said. Of course, before I go over everything we should be expecting here in the summer DLC, please remember to drop a like and subscribe and comment down below your thoughts, whether or not we will be getting more or what you guys think for concepts, whatever, whatever you want, you know, just your thoughts overall on this new update and some of the changes that we will be getting for this summer update as well. I'd like to begin starting off that they do not mention anything about this update being exclusive to consoles or PC in any way, shape, or form. This sounds like it will be coming to every single console and every single PC, so that is something that is good. PS4, Xbox One, PS5, Xbox Series, and PC will be receiving this update, which is good news. They first begin off the news wire saying that we will be expanding upon the criminal careers of executive, biker, gun runner, and nightclub owner, which is like four businesses plus. So what they exactly mean that they're expanding on, I'm kind of unsure. Maybe it's just some changes or overhauls overall. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe just some better payouts. The, the expansion of all those businesses, I don't know what that could possibly mean. That's one thing that I'm kind of curious what you guys think that is about. So let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about that. Number two, a new set of contact missions involving playing as a special IAA field operative to investigate a budding criminal conspiracy. So a new string of contact missions will be coming. Um, I'm not a huge fan of contact missions, but some of the oldies were pretty good. And if this pays out well, maybe I'll give it a try. Maybe if it's double or triple money, or if there's some special clothing reward or something like that, I will definitely give it a try. But as of right now, they just sound like contact missions where you play as an IA agent. Whether or not that actually leads into a story or has any meaning whatsoever other than you just going and killing people with a badge on, no idea. Number three of what we should be expecting is the effectiveness of the homing missiles and countermeasures on the Oppressor Mark II will finally be getting nerfed. I don't remember, but earlier this year, Rockstar said they wanted to do that once they released the game on Expanded and Enhanced, the PS5 and the Xbox Series consoles, and we haven't heard anything since until now, so luckily that is finally coming and hopefully it is a good one and i'm excited for that one for sure and hopefully a new vehicle kind of takes it over not in a weaponized griefy kind of way but i hope a new vehicle comes out that is just like the best vehicle in the game and i hope it's nerfed enough into the ground where it's still useful in pve but not so useful in pvp that's the only problem i have with the oppressor is just how convenient it is to just call and blow someone up just press a few buttons you know and it in the bam they, someone lost all their cargo you know they want to uh offer a more convenient way to access snacks and armor so they're going to be overhauling all of that not exactly sure um what they could be possibly doing with that but maybe they're increasing it or just making it so you can access your snacks and armor quicker for when you're in a job and you're getting shot at and you want to eat some snacks real quick so that is a pretty useful one right there still wish we could get rid of you know uh, english dave or just block some phone numbers on our phone but uh maybe not yet the fifth change is that they will be giving us the ability to finally do all cell missions in invite only sessions which is fantastic news we've been able to do the ko perico heist and the diamond casino heist and a few of the businesses completely solo in solo sessions like the auto shop business as well as the agency but finally we will be able to do these in 
all invite only sessions so that is really really good news all those glitch videos i've watched over the past years of getting into solo public sessions to do so will no longer be needed which is kind of sad sounds like an end of an era but i'm definitely way more excited for being able to do these cell missions in private sessions that is that is a huge one Number six is kind of vague, but I will explain. Increase payouts across the game for your time. So um, maybe they're going to be just increasing payouts with the more time you spend on a mission, I guess, or the opposite. The quicker you do it, the more money you make. I'm not exactly sure. The Red Dead Online, I remember contact missions or free roam missions. You were paid by like the three minute interval and it was just like, you might as well spend more time on the mission than do it as quickly as possible, which was kind of frustrating and it got really, really boring. And I know it's kind of the same for GTA Online, though it isn't like a very linear scale. Um, so hopefully we'll just be getting paid more for our, our time. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but let me know what you guys think. Number seven and eight are probably my favorite changes that they've made so far. And I've been asking for years. It is increased payouts for bodyguards, associates, and MC members to encourage and reward cooperative play. For the longest time, it was completely useless to have help in these cell missions other than I don't want to move these four cars in 20 minutes by myself or these four garbage trucks or whatever. So hopefully these associates and bodyguards and stuff will be getting paid way more for their time helping doing these garbage cell missions. And, you know, because back in the day, you just the host always got the most money and the rest of the people just got pennies on the dollar they just got nothing so hopefully they will be getting a bigger and better reward during these cell missions as well as number eight greater payouts across races adversary modes and select heist finales thank you thank you they finally did it and they finally listened i've always talked about the fortnite effect where <laughs> they vault old content and then bring new content and then bring back that old content or like in destiny how they also vault that or they bring back old raids or old missions and make them more rewarding so they're worth doing it's crazy the amount of time that rocks are spent on some of these old heists and missions and dlcs and then they're just like but we're not going to make it useful for anyone to do. We're just going to keep it the lowest paying job out there. And now they're finally taking the old content and upscaling it to be more current time content. And I, I freaking love that. The pack standard giving out $1.2 million. Maybe they'll double it, even maybe triple it because you, you are giving it across four players. Something like that I've been waiting for for the longest time. And that's probably the most exciting thing for me. I love these old heists and some of these old missions, but they're not worth doing. The only heist worth doing is Keo Perico, so maybe they'll finally lose Keo Perico's throne spot as the best heist in the game and the best way to make money in the game. Finally, sounds like we're there's a light at the end of the tunnel and that Rockstar finally got their head out of their asses. Maybe we had to go through these couple bad years of just bad rap, bad media, of all these things going bad at Rockstar Games. They're finally going to make GTA Online more playable than ever, which is great, great news. And I'm excited for the summer update and what the future has to come. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And please remember to drop a like and subscribe and turn on post notifications if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.